Pro Tools is a wonderful creative tool to use in mixing music. A lot of the power and flexibility comes from using the automation system to create complex moves and effects, and to store, edit, and recall those moves with a mouse click. Whether you're mixing with a mouse or using an external controller, it's easy to use automation to build your mixes. This tutorial will give you a basic overview to get you started. Open the automation window under the Window menu, or type Command 4 on the numeric keypad. This is where we tell the program what type of automation data we're going to capture. Enable Volume, Pan, Mute, and Plugin parameters. Nearly every adjustable parameter can be automated. The two most common types of automation data you'll generate will be volume and mute data, but you can also automate pan info, send an insert status, and just about every control on just about every plugin in your arsenal. There are two ways to enter and edit automation data. Mousing breakpoint data, and entering it in real time using a fader or other encoder. Let's take a look at adding simple automation data using the mouse. Scroll down to the JR Wah guitar track. Click on the name. If you hit the minus key, you'll see the volume automation track superimposed over the waveform display. Or, you can open an automation lane under the track display. We'll make our adjustments in that automation lane display. That gives us the opportunity to see the waveforms clearly. If you solo and play the track, you can hear the intro part we're going to adjust. Draw a region to define the intro section. Using the Smart tool in the upper third of the display, click and drag the volume line upward until you see the volume increase by about 4 decibels. You can hear the change on playback. <laughs> 